About two months ago on the channel, I made a video about hackers and Dead by Daylight. At the time, I was pretty satisfied with the video and felt like I had said everything that I wanted to say about hacking. However, a few hackers messaged me after I made that video and were kind enough to let me know that I sounded like a fucking idiot. On top of that, I've seen countless videos of hacking, both from content creators, streamers, and just random everyday Dead by Daylight players. Because of this, I decided I wanted to make another video. So the first thing I did was download some dramatic b-roll footage of an old man driving to make everything seem a little bit more serious than it actually was. Then I responded to those hackers because I wanted to know why they do it, how they do it, and if behavior is doing anything to stop them from doing it. Before I jump into the rest of the video too, I also want to mention that I really probably wouldn't be making this video if Behavior had released any kind of statement, even a vague statement that, hey, we are aware of the hacking situation and we're going to do something about it. That's all it would have taken and I would have not made this video and I especially would not have made this video with as much information in it as I put in there because a lot of people are going to think that I'm advertising hacking, but honestly at this point it's like, the cat's out of the bag and the devs are literally doing nothing about it as far as we are aware. I'm not only getting very frustrated with the amount of hackers that I'm actually running into, but just seeing clips like this next one I'm going to show you are starting to get very common and just insanely annoying for everybody and I'm going to explain why. Now does he get bounce money? Hey, where'd he go? So confused. Did he morph inside me? How? Wait, what? How is he? How is he vaulting when I'm taking the window? Oh, dead hard? No, he did it twice though. Whoa, that was a fast save. Oh, he is cheating. He's teleporting. Okay. Uh, he has infinite DS. Can I can I pick you up yet? Nope, he has infinite DS, that's right. Can I just disconnect? Well, I have to wait six minutes. Oh man, I don't want to wait that long. I may have to DC anyway. Do you think he's like not going to leave? Do I have to DC? I think Meg is the only one that's not cheating. <laughs> well, what do I do about this? <laughs> I've seen a bunch of Twitter posts by some other content creators saying that the game is like unplayable with all the hackers right now. Okay, I spell HP again. There we go. Nice. We got it. We did it. Got it. Oh, he holds me hostage. I have to DC. Okay. You guys should have told me that from the get-go. I just would have done it earlier. Reports don't do anything. Reports do absolutely nothing. So a random Dead by Daylight player on Twitter said, Hey, Behavior, it's me again. This is my first game back after taking a couple weeks off because of cheaters. Just wanted you to know your game has a problem right now and ignoring it isn't going to make it go away. Love you. And what he's referring to is the infinite blind flashlight hack. These hacks are getting out of control. So I talked with multiple hackers, but the main one I talked to was an administrator for MilkyWayCheats.com, which is the main hack that you see running rampant. And he is also a part of the group that is stream sniping. So I said, do you want Dead by Daylight to be free of cheaters? 
And he said, yes and no, to be honest. On one hand, there's way too many. And on the second hand, not gonna lie, it's really fun. But I'm not one of those closet cheaters that just gives themselves a small boost of speed with wall hacks. I go full out and make behavior realize we're stronger than ever. So sort of like a rebel type ideology, I would assume. I find it funny that he has a term for closet cheaters, almost like an insult. So already right off the bat in your video, you seem to have two questions. How many hackers are there and what's the ban duration? There is about 10% of the PC player base that hacks in some kind of way at the moment. All hack related bans are permanent. They issue game developer bans, which bans your whole Steam account and shows a bit like a VAC ban on your profile. It also bans every account related to that one through family sharing. Behavior also issue randomly hardware bans, which they take the ID of your motherboard, hard drives, etc. and it bans them, forcing you to either spoof those IDs or get a new PC. Bans tend to come every two weeks for people like me who are extremely blatant. Unknown for people who are hiding but I know some people who have been on the same account for months. In those two weeks, some of us managed to play for about 100 to 150 hours, which is crazy. So you would think, well, if these guys get banned, at the very least, at least they have to buy the game again, right? But that's not the case. Um, I don't know exactly, you know, what goes behind the scenes for the Twitch, sorry, for the behavior staff to ban hackers. But I remember, I don't know if this is a good thing to, 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 to tell, but I remember one of my friends, he played uh, against a hacker. And the hacker was one of those haha easy, you know, just one of those twats that brags about it in the post-game chat. And he said, oh, they keep trying, but they're not going to be able to ban me. They'll never ban me. And like, my friend was showing me his profile again. And when he checked, he had already been banned. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like to see the face of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, report them. Report them. Worst case scenario, you know, they they buy another fucking account or whatever and they they start hacking again. But at least you make them go to the inconvenience. <laughs> Let me show you what that inconvenience looks like. If you go to any of these uh, websites like G2G, eBay, etc., there's multiple, you will find that you can buy these accounts for anywhere from like $2 to maybe a little bit more depending on what you're buying. But all of them come with the game. And it doesn't look like Steam is doing anything about this. These are probably professional hacker groups that look like they operate out of China and they get these accounts that have the game on them essentially for free and then people buy them. So they're screwing behavior out of a lot of actual game sales. And then if you just look at the feedback of this one account, it's pretty insane how many accounts they're actually selling on here. They're making a lot of money. There's no way to know for sure how much of that feedback is specifically for Dead by Daylight, but one can assume that at least a good amount of it is. This hacker group has a Discord, and as you can see, if you look at the actual Discord itself, a lot of people are joining this Discord in a day. I also asked these hackers how mainstream is hacking becoming now that it's becoming so easy to do, and they, they all had a similar answer, which is that the amount of hackers in the past few months has massively increased. And if you would like to see what some of those hacks look like, I'll show some on the screen here. Some of the more notable ones for me are aimbot, lag server so they can kind of mess with you if they're trying to act like oh no it was just lag and then you second guess yourself you're like well are they really cheating i don't know but the one that i want to talk about the most is auto dead heart in the very bottom right corner because this is a hack that i personally claimed existed for a while and nobody really believed it they thought i was just being bad but you know when somebody can bait a dead heart and you know when somebody can't bait a dead heart and you cannot get lucky so consistently as some of the people that i've played against at high mmr so seeing that it actually does exist it's uh very validating to see that so the main administrator hacker that i talked to started to talk about stream sniping because i wanted to know how does this work is there a specific way that they can do this so uh, he told me we have a queue checker at the moment that tells us how long queues are for killer and survivor. After that, it's just a matter of counting down the time he queued and to queue at the right time. It's not really hard for a group of four to get a streamer consistently about two out of three games. So I said, if you were a streamer, what would you do to protect yourself against it? And he says, you can't that easy play another game or be okay. Seeing hackers every match until behavior does something. 
even if you have a dark screen and play as killer, we'll know if we're matched against the streamer. I said, well, how? And then he sent me a image of what that looks like. So you can see the cloud ID, he can see the Steam ID, he can see their nickname, etc. Even the MMR of the lobby. So even if a streamer is taking steps to try to protect themselves from getting stream sniped, like putting their stream on a delay or hiding their screen, it won't help them. In this clip, you'll see Angry Pug getting stream sniped by presumably the same hacker that I'm talking to because he specifically referenced Angry Pug at one point in our conversation. The fuck? Uh -huh. Ah, he's hacking. <laughs> you were right. You were right. Ah, you were right. Somebody called it. Somebody called it. Well, the funny part about that is he's actually that bad as Blight now. Think about that. That was him actually playing. So that's how bad he is. <laughs> that was him really actually playing. Do I crater if I fall off? Come on, bro. I want to fall down. Oh, well, we'll just do the same thing that Trickster does. We'll just stay in the lobby with you the whole time, my dude. I'm just going to mute it and just talk to my stream. Just so you can't do anything for the rest of the night. You're doing me a favor, not not not, not making me play DBD. I mean, no, here, here's the mentality with, with, with hackers that do this to streamers. All you do is you just leave it up in the background. And then that hacker can't go and hack anybody else. You know? Oh, yeah, this is the guy that's been stream sniping me all night. He didn't hack earlier, which is funny. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he's the guy that he's been going around stream sniping a bunch of, uh, people. And I hate going out of my way to have to fucking report fucking morons, but. You want to be a moron? You know if it's bad if I'm reporting someone? I mean, dude, I try not to report people, but if you're going to derail, like, the stream, then, I mean, I have to. He says, I played against JRM, Dowsy, Coconuts, Otofu, Angry Pug, and I play in every region using one of our saucers so we can change it within seconds. But yeah, biggest message to give to streamers, either be ready to DC, wait two hours, or just, you know, have fun, laugh with us even, when we're super blatant and whatnot. Lots of us would let streamers go if they just have fun and learn not to take the game seriously. But I have a few things to say about this. One, if you look at the clip that I just showed you, Angry Pug was not upset at all that the guy was hacking. It wasn't until the guy decided to hold him hostage that he actually got annoyed, which is understandable because nobody wants to sit in the air for two hours while they're streaming, especially if they're streaming to thousands of people. That's going to cost them money and it wastes their time, right? So there's that. And then the second thing is that even if they are playing the game for a competitive reason, like Dowsy and want to just like, that's the part of the game they enjoy. I don't really feel like it's fair to say that people have to react a certain way or you'll punish them for it. You know, like everybody plays games for different reasons. If somebody gets frustrated that, you know, you're hacking and you're like ru ruining their fun, I think that's understandable. The thing with hacking is that nobody really gets upset when somebody's hacking in a single player game or a co-op game or even a custom game that's multiplayer. People get upset when you're hacking in a in a multiplayer game without consent, right? Especially if it's a multiplayer game that is semi-competitive like Dead by Daylight or as competitive as you think Dead by Daylight is. So I asked him if he had any actual footage of stream sniping. You know, I was curious if there was any way we could see a way to basically protect ourselves from getting stream sniped. And uh, he didn't answer that. But about a day later, he told me that he had stream sniped Coconuts RTS. And one of the interesting things of this stream snipe is, again, he had no idea that the guy killer he was playing against was a hacker until the match was completely over. Similar to how Angry Pug in the previous clip didn't realize 
that the guy that he thought was stream sniping him multiple times that night was actually a hacker as well. So subtle hacking is so nearly impossible to see and detect and report in any way that it basically is free to get away with unless behavior actually puts something in the game to stop it. Uh, you found out that the DVD hackers were part of some weird group. Apparently this guy was a hacker too. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? You never went against or played against a hacker? You're not gonna waste time reporting, right? No, I'll, I'll waste time reporting. This is the hacker. His name is Oranges. This is his profile. Can someone um, get a... Uh, a link? A clip? Can someone make a clip real quick? Does someone have a clip real quick? I can send to the devs. Steam ID IO. Okay. Let's get his. Um, Steam ID 64. And yes, we created a report. All right, so I've created a ticket. We're good. So after the, uh, I saw the VOD, I said, hey, I saw the VOD. Did you, the devs ban the account or anything? And he said, that account was finally banned yesterday after three weeks. So it is possible to actually get these guys banned if you follow Coconut's example from the previous clip. You do need video evidence though. Then I said, I see, if you worked at Behavior, what would you do to lower the cheating? And he said, get a better anti-cheat. Their version of EAC is completely useless. They don't keep any kind of logs, which is why you need to report with a video to get one of us banned. Without a video, the only info they have is the pre and post game chats. So there's a little bit of information for you. So if you do want to report a hacker that you play with, you know now that if you don't have video and if you don't follow the steps from Coconuts, you're probably not going to be able to actually get the person banned. Another question I asked all of the hackers I talked to is, do you think it's possible that at some point behavior would come after you legally for using these cheats to which they all pretty much scoffed at and said, no, there's no chance. We don't see that or it's unlikely. Um, but this is becoming a real trend. Bungie and Ubisoft and Epic Games, and I think even a few more like Rockstar have gone after hackers and cheaters in their games, especially the people that are creating the cheats and running the websites where cheats are sold, they're coming at them and slapping them with a massive, massive lawsuit. So, you know, it's one thing when you're, you know, cheating in a game and you're having fun and you're, you know, kind of screwing other people over and screwing over their time that they're trying to have. But it's a whole nother thing when a multi-million dollar company with an army of lawyers slaps a massive lawsuit against you. They can like literally ruin your life. So, so these hackers should actually take care because this isn't a completely unrealistic outcome. And I think as time goes on and these companies lose more and more money because of hackers, this is probably going to become common. Now, for the last part of this video, I just want to give a shout out to Dowsy because Dowsy has been one of not the only major content creator who is calling out subtle hackers in Dead by Daylight, not just the obvious ones that everyone sees or the people that are even just holding, you know, streamers hostage he's going after the people that are sort of ruining dead by daylight honestly because there's so many subtle hackers on this game that almost one out of every two games you're playing probably has a hacker in it on average and they're all going to go towards the top MMR because they never lose a match, right? So top MMR and the whole balancing of top MMR, it's a complete facade. Nobody really has any idea what this game is playing like at the highest level because we've never really seen it. Even pro teams um, are using things like stretch res and filters. So like you don't really know exactly what this game is like when both sides are playing at the same level. Then the devs will make balance changes based off of that information and that will just ripple down from the top to the bottom and pretty much affect everybody in a negative way. I'll leave you with this clip from Dowsy as it's a perfect example of what I'm talking about and the kind of hacking that is so bad for the game. They're just good, stop crying. Dude, I don't know even why I'm talking to you because you clearly don't know what you're talking about. But there are more people who hack in Dead by Daylight at High MMR than are good at Dead by Daylight at High MMR. Like legit. And like, obviously hacking is the wrong term because they're just cheaters using like, odd clients, right? 
But this is the goddamn truth of this video game, unfortunately. Welcome to the reality of DBD. There's no anti cheat in the game that matters. People use ESP. People use 5% uh, speed increases. People uh, use um, healing hacks. People use uh, totem hacks. They do all this to pretend there are people who literally uh, only run hacks to increase their like unhooking speed. Like this person right here. A perfect fucking example. You guys tell me they're not hacking and she unhooks instantly in our face without any. Inc oh my God. You guys are absolutely no, no, what you're talking about. Oh, no, I think they're not hacking. But then she goes and bloody unhooks instantly. Oh my God. Oh, uh, no hacks, too. To be honest, Dalsy, you're just salty. You're just salty getting your Dalsy. They can't be hacking, Dalsy. They don't hack. There's no hackers. Holy moly. Eat your bloody words. Eat your heart out. Go back and watch it. Watch her instantly unhook in our face and tell me they're not hacking. Tell me it's just they're good. Uh, Dalsy, that's uh, some desperate measures of value. Ah, uh, yes. They, you had dead hard. Borrow time. Blast mine quick and quiet. Cringe survivors. <laughs> okay, yes. Giving free kill makes up for using cheats. This is what a normal unhook looks like. I'm assuming this is not the same Nia who unhooks. It could be. It is the same one. That's a normal unhook. See how it was slower? Because she didn't use the speed hack? Look how slowly it takes to get the survivor on the ground. Compared. People are like seriously just subtly hacking in Dead by Daylight because they know they can get away with it. I'm the nurse in this game for what it's worth. The reason I'm showing you from the survivor's perspective is because it's blatant. I thought it was a speed hack on my end, like a, an action speed speed hack, but you, you can't tell. It just, it seemed really quick. Like the one in, that we just went up against, where it's really subtle. You can see the difference in the unhook speed. No speed up add-ons at all. I'm just tired, man. Like, I'm tired of having people, like, tell me to, to, to shut up, to stop bitching. When this is, like, clear as day to me, it's clear as day to other people. If you don't have as much game experience, maybe you don't see it because it's, it's all really subtle stuff. That's fine. I'm not going to blame you for that. It tilts me, man. And like, I, just, I like playing DVD. I really do like playing DVD. I even like playing DVD at high MMR. As sweaty as it can be, and as, as, as frustrating as games can be, I do enjoy the challenge. But it's, it's so frustrating to like, go up against all these subtle hacks, or just blatant hackers. Obviously blatant hackers are way worse. Are, are, are bad as well but the 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 subtle hackers are oh, they 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 really get my goat because they're pretending to play good dude people are seriously seriously it, it makes me upset it makes me upset one that behavior won't do anything that's the thing that makes me most upset okay just to let you know the thing that makes me most upset is that behavior will literally do nothing about their cheetah epidemic zero zilch because it, they, I don't know, it's too hard for them. I don't know why. But they don't. They do nothing about their cheater em epidemic. What makes me more, uh, what makes me upset after that is the fact there's so many people 
who don't believe that these guys are hacking when we can literally see it with our own eyes these people literally use like five percent fucking hacks it's so frustrating and then i feel gaslit to shit because people are like delcy you're just crying about this shit and <laughs> oh man i see this shit so constant Ah, oh, it's so frustrating